Let's start. Today we will see how to get lower time frame data in the TradingView Pine script. You might have seen many higher time frame data tutorials on my channel, but not a single lower time frame data tutorial yet. The reason is that the Pine script documentation itself tells us not to fetch the data from any lower time frames, as it might lead to unrealistic results and indicator repainting. But accidentally I have found a way to fetch the lower time frame data without having to face the indicator repainting issue. Let's see the code. This is the indicator function with name, get lower time frame data. Here we have used the security function to fetch the lower time frame data. The first argument of this function is the current stock name, the second argument is the lower time frame. Here the daily time frame is the default value. The third argument is the data to be fetched. We are going to fetch the close value. And then we plot this lower time frame data. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, right now I'm on the weekly time frame and we are seeing the lower time frame daily closing data on the chart. If you replay this indicator, you will see that it does not repaint. But how does this work? I have drawn two vertical lines, one is green and one is red. If I place the cursor over a candle that has the green vertical line, the indicator shows 769. 59 as the close value of the lower time frame. Where does this actually come from? Since we are on the weekly time frame right now, and we are trying to fetch the daily time frame data, it is important to note that a few daily time frame candles come together to create one weekly time frame candle. Generally, five daily time frame candles form one weekly candle, assuming no holidays occur in between. So out of these five daily time frame candles, which candles close value does our indicator show us? The answer is the very last candle in the bunch of five daily candles. Let's prove this using these vertical lines. Right now I am on the daily time frame, and these are our two vertical lines. The candle that has a green vertical line is the first candle, and the candle just before the red vertical line is the last candle. This group of candles makes one weekly candle. And as said earlier, the last candle in this bunch is used by our indicator to show the close value. So if I place the cursor over this last candle, you can see the value of 769.59, which is exactly the value we had seen on the weekly chart. So the values match and our indicator have fetched lower time frame data successfully without repainting. So that's it. That's how you can get the lower time frame data in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.